The diagram show me GPT is used to create and render visual diagrams based on user requests. It can be used to explain concepts, describe processes, show how something works or visualize data in various diagram formats. Click on explore GPTs. Diagrams show me is in productivity category. Click on productivity or scroll down. You will find diagram show me in that category. You can also search for it. Enter diagram show me in search bar and you will find diagram show me in the search results. To use the GPT, click on diagram show me. Click on start chart. Rendering diagrams. The GPT can take a diagram description in a specific language and render it. Returning a link to the rendered diagram. This GPT can render a variety of diagrams using different diagram languages like Mermaid, Plant UML, D2, etc. Some of the diagrams it can render are flowchart, sequence, class, user journey, Gantt, pie chart, mind map, timeline, etc. Class diagram. Representation of a system's structure showing classes, attributes, methods, and relationships. For example, enter this prompt to create a class diagram and click on send message. Chart GPT uses the diagrams show me GPT and the class diagram is rendered in the chart itself. If you want to view the diagram in more detail, click on view full screen diagram. The diagram is shown in a new tab. To download the image, click on download PNG. Name the image and click on save. The diagram is downloaded and saved as a .png image. You can save the diagram as a .svg file. Right click on the diagram and select save image as. Name the file and click on save. The diagram is saved as a .svg file. Some diagrams can be edited online. If editing in the code is supported for the rendered diagram, there will be a link provided. Click on edit with code to make any changes. Edit window is opened in a new tab. Make the necessary changes to the code and the changes are reflected in the diagram. For example, add email to the person class. It is immediately reflected in the diagram. You can also ask the GPT to make changes. For example, enter add email to person class and click on send message. A new updated class diagram is rendered with email added to person class. To view ideas for improving the diagram, use the key phrase show ideas. Enter show ideas and click on send message. The GPT gives suggestions on how the diagram can be improved. For example, you can customize the appearance using themes. To apply a new theme, click on edit with code, click on config, change the theme name, for example, change it to a dark. New theme is applied to the diagram. You can ask the GPT to change the theme and render a new diagram. Enter change the theme to forest. A new class diagram with the specified theme is rendered. You can ask GPT to render the diagram in a different language. For example, to get the diagram in plant UML, enter use plant UML. The diagram is rendered in the specified language. Enter show ideas. Ideas to improve the diagram in that specific language are listed. Pie charts are effective for illustrating the breakdown of data into different categories and their relative proportions. Enter this prompt to create a pie chart. This pie chart provides a visual representation of how sales are distributed across different product categories. You can also upload an Excel file instead of entering the data in the prompt. For example, this Excel file contains the data we entered earlier in the prompt. 
To get a pie chart using the data in the Excel file, first upload the file. Click on the attach icon in the message box and browse to the file location and select the file. Now enter create a pie chart. The GPT analyzes the Excel file and create the pie chart. This Excel file just had two columns and so the pie chart was created easily. Sometimes you may need to give extra instructions to get the desired result. For example, let's say we want to create a pie chart to show products per category and pie charts showing total sales per products for each category. One for each category. Upload the Excel file. Enter create a pie chart. The GPT analyzed the data and created a pie chart that displays the total sales for each category. But we wanted a pie chart that shows products per category. Enter create the pie chart based on products in each category. A new pie chart is created based on number of products per category. You can also ask the GPT to create multiple pie charts. For example, ask the GPT to create pie chart for each category based on product sales in that category. Enter create pie charts one for each category based on product sales. The pie charts for each category based on product sales are created and a link to each pie chart is provided. Click on the link to download and save the file. Educational learning. Use the GPT to generate diagrams that can help you visualize and understand the subject matter better. A graph diagram is used in this case. It is a visual representation of a set of objects connected by links. For example, enter this prompt to get a diagram to understand photosynthesis. The GPT used mermaid language and rendered a graph diagram of the photosynthesis process. Let's ask GPT to visually enhance the diagram using symbols. Enter this prompt. Enhanced version of the diagram is rendered using different colors. If you feel the GPT did not render a detailed diagram, you can ask for a detailed version. Enter more detailed diagram. A new diagram including more details is rendered. To edit the diagram using Miro, a free online whiteboard, click on Edit by Miro. You can edit the diagram using drag and drop. Once you make the changes, click on export this board. You can save the diagram as an image, PDF, etc. A flowchart is a visual representation of a process or workflow. Using standardized symbols and shapes to depict various steps, decisions and the flow of information or tasks. For example, enter this prompt to create a flowchart for website login process. A flowchart showing the login process is rendered. Enter show ideas for ideas on how this diagram can be improved. The GPT gives a list of suggestions. You can ask the GPT to enhance user experience. For example, use this prompt to add forgot password process, etc. A new flowchart is rendered. To visually enhance the diagram, you can ask the GPT to use different colors and shapes. Enter this prompt to show successful and unsuccessful login attempts and forgot password in different colors. A new diagram with the visual enhancements is rendered. These are only a few examples. You can try to enhance the diagram in any way you want it. A sequence diagram is an interaction diagram that shows how processes operate with one another and in what order. For example, ask the GPT to create an online shopping sequence diagram. Enter this prompt. A sequence diagram is rendered which shows the online shopping process. A mind map is a diagram used to visually organize information. It is hierarchical and shows relationships among pieces of the whole. For example, to get a mind map of the main characters in the Lord of Rings, 
use this prompt. The requested mind map is rendered. A timeline is a type of diagram used to illustrate a chronology of events, dates or periods of time. A basic timeline presents a list of events in chronological order, usually using dates as markers. For example, to create a timeline diagram for history of social media platform, use this prompt. A timeline diagram is rendered using Mermaid. A Gantt chart is a type of bar chart that represents a project schedule over time. It displays the start and finish dates of the various elements of a project. You can ask the GPT to create a general Gantt chart of a particular project. For example, to ask the GPT to create a Gantt chart for home construction timeline, use this prompt. A general Gantt chart is rendered. You can create a Gantt chart with a specific data. For example, to create a Gantt chart for wedding planning, use this prompt. Specify the tasks and dates. Gantt chart illustrating the event planning tasks is rendered. Gantt chart can also be created from an Excel file. For example, this Excel file has the same data we used in the prompt. Notice that data is in sheet 2. Upload this file. Enter create a Gantt chart from the data in sheet 2. A Gantt chart is created from the data in Excel file. A user journey is a visual representation that describes the various stages and touch points a user goes through when interacting with a product, service or system. For example, Ask the GPT to illustrate the user journey for an online shopping experience. A user journey diagram showing the user's online shopping experience is rendered. A state diagram is a type of diagram used in computer science and related fields to describe the behavior of systems. For example, ask the GPT to create a state diagram for a traffic light system. A state diagram for a traffic light system is rendered. Let's explore some more examples. To create a diagram representing the different stages of a butterfly's life cycle, use this prompt. To create a diagram illustrating the hierarchical structure of a typical corporation, including different levels of management and departments, use this prompt. These are just a few examples and the possibilities are vast. You can request diagrams on a wide range of topics and customize them according to your needs. These are the few questions you can ask the GPT to explore and customize the diagrams. Can you show me different types of diagrams I can create using diagram show me GPT? The GPT lists the different types of diagrams you can create. You can explore each type in detail and choose the one that best fits your needs. To get the list of supported languages, ask this question. What are the different types of diagram languages? Diagram show me GPT supports. The GPT lists the supported languages. You can ask the GPT for available themes for a diagram. For example, to get the available themes for a mermaid diagram, enter this prompt. A list of themes is displayed. You can ask the GPT how to customize. For example, ask the GPT how to customize colors in a mermaid diagram. The GPT will give a clear explanation with examples on how the colors can be changed. In summary, the diagrams show me GPT enables chart GPT to generate and edit diagrams for various topics, enhancing its ability to visually represent information and concepts in chart conversations. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.